Hello, my name is Vishal Rain. In this video tutorial, I'll be talking about uh, pivot point, pivot point editing, snap tools, and align tools. Firstly, pivot point editing and what is pivot point, we'll know. We'll try to know about that. So, pivot point is uh, the place from where the transformation of the object happens. Simply talking, the object's manipulator is sitting in the center. I can alter the position of the manipulator and when I start transforming the effect is seen from that point which was earlier from the center of the object. So altering the pivot point is uh, a quite useful method, uh, useful thing in uh, transforming the objects. So how do we alter the pivot point? Pivot point can be altered by a couple of ways. One is in any of your manipulator that is move tool, rotate tool or scale tool. Open the tool settings and you have this option called edit pivot. Click that and then you can change the pivot point here. For that you need to hold the handle drag it and then it will be uh, moved anywhere in the space and also you can rotate them if you wanted once the job is done you can click the edit pivot button off and the pivot point is now altered you have the reset button you click that and the pivot point goes back to its original position pivot point can also be altered by keyboard shortcut that is D, D for donkey or you can press insert and then you can change the pivot point so so that you can drag and change the pivot point one way the other way is you need to just click on any of the component the pivot point will be changed to that component so from center it came here you just click there and it will go there so if you see the position and the orientation of the manipulator is changing with a normal click if I'm holding shift and I'm clicking only the position is altered the orientation is untouched if I'm holding control shift sorry I'll hold only control and then click only the orientation is altered where the x-axis is facing towards the selected component if I'm holding control shift for that I need to select the handle first the selected handle will face to the selected component alternatively you can also go to the attribute editor in the transform node you have the pivot section and here you can alter the pivots so we have local and world space thing going on so better stay away from that directly you can just move and see the pivot points are changing there okay you have option called center pivot you just you click that and then the pivot point goes to the center of the selected object if the shape of the model is a bit different then the pivot point again changes to the center of the object center is defined by the bounding box of this object you can go to the bounding box mode and then it will measure the center point for the bounding box if I alter the position of the object here uh, sorry if I alter the position of the pivot point you don't see any change in the transformation in the channel box but if you want to get that values which have changed here you can always go to modify and then choose bake pivot you have position orientation position and orientation values which can be baked here as position and orientation values are on the values will be seen there
let's see the parent uh, and child relationship in Maya in edit if you see there is a option called parent and unparent so these two options has to be used here uh, before getting into that we'll open the outliner and if you see there is a p cube uh, and a p cylinder and if you see the transform values of this uh, translation z is 3 and translation z is minus 4 I'm not touching any of these values and I'm going to do the parent and child relationship I want to make the cylinder as a child and the cube as a parent so I'm selecting the child first then parent uh, later and then go to edit and then choose parent so with the default settings I'm going to do the parent and child relationship and you should notice that here the cylinder is the child of the cube and there is a sort of uh, wire going from the parent to the child now what happens with that is if I select the parent and move the child will also move along with that when I rotate the parent or scale the parent the child will also get affected with the transformation of the parent and if you want to avoid that you can go to the attribute editor select the child in the transform node you just switch off this option called inherits transform now if I select the parent the child doesn't move anymore now if you want to do the unparenting you need to select the child go to edit and then say unparent sorry shift P is a keyboard shortcut make it as unparent okay um, we have uh, some options here and uh, the options are uh, the move object which we have done just now we have add instance and when I do that when I select the parent and move okay sorry I did a reverse way sorry when I select the uh, parent and move um, the child is transform oh I forgot to switch on the inner it's transform so yeah so I'm selecting the parent and then move it now you see the child is moving with that and then you should see the uh, child is a copy now so the the object which we have taken as a child object is there as it is and a new copy has made out of it instance is an other way of copying uh, the models okay so I'm pressing shift to be or maybe delete the objects here I go to the edit parent and tr uh, try I remove the instance yeah it's gone and then now it works perfectly now if you if I just uh, try another option here child parent and then use this option called preserve position preserve position uh, if you see the objects transform value is minus 3 now when I apply parent it became minus 6 because it is 6 units away from its parent and it has measured that value there uh, whereas if I go to the uh, preserve uh, position off and then when I apply so it will uh, take this minus 3 um, and then it will move the object so that it will stay minus three units away from the parent so that is uh, something really cool so parent and child relationship is uh, a very useful method in controlling the hierarchy of objects so if I just go uh, and then select the cube and then do the parent um, here um, then you see the sphere is the grandparent cube is the parent cylinder is a child I can go as many as parents uh, in the hierarchy and then uh, do the parent child relationship okay
okay we have a box here and we have uh, three pieces here cylinder sphere and cube so I make the cylinder as the child to the sphere so I'm using the parent and child relationship here with the default settings and then the sphere becomes the child of the cube so cube is the grandparent sphere is a parent cylinder is the child object now if you see there's a tool here mm, called uh, point to to point and then we have object parent grandparent that's the reason we have this parent and child relationship done so I'll, I'll keep the object itself then select a particular point here and then select a point here so these points are vertex points and then when I apply then you see the cylinder went to the cube so that the vertex is aligned with the vertex of the cube and if I just enable parent then the cylinder moves along with the sphere when I choose the grandparent it will move with the cube so that's the align snap to point to point tool does and if I select uh, two points here and then two points here which uh, represents the line now I go to the snap tool two point alignment okay then we have uh, object and then we have a left middle and right so I choose the left and then you see uh, it is aligned on the lower side now if I choose to the middle it will be aligned in the middle and if I choose to right it will be aligned on the top and if I choose the parent then the sphere comes along grandparent the whole cube hierarchy comes along and if I choose uh, the other tool three point tool then we have uh, um, we need to select three points three points represents a plane okay so I need to select a plane I can't really select any random three uh, a three which represents a plane I need to select and then the object is rotating and then the planes are getting aligned and I've got the parent and I've got the grandparent with them uh, let's see uh, the align tool align object so we have uh, the align object here so let's go for the default setting here so what it is talking here is about the align modes the axis and uh, two options here align for the selected average and the last selected object so what does that actually means we'll see uh, first one is a minimum <coughs> I'll just keep it simple by selecting uh, the x-ray mode here and then wireframe on shaded and then I select these two objects here and uh, in x-axis I want to align this object so when the option is set to minimum you see uh, the object um, alignment is on one side which is uh, the lesser value when I choose that to maximum that goes on to the maximum side or the positive side when I choose that to middle it goes into the middle so if you are uh, basically uh, putting that in the Y then you need to choose the y-axis then it will align in the y okay so that's uh, minimum mid and maximum does so I'll just keep it uh, like that and I'll go to the top view and then if you see there are a few objects and these objects are uh, not evenly distributed okay now when I select this one option here and then choose x axis okay and the distribution becomes even so the spacing is uh, uniform now because uh, the option is selected to the distributor and then we have the stack option and this will stack one object on the other so they are their edges are you know touching each other and uh, if you see uh, this option is working um, so let's uh, move these objects uh, differently
I can uh, choose the uh, mid of that and then choose the Z and then let's see how the alignment would us so you see all the objects uh, have a line to a center well, let's see the last selected object so you see the last selected object is the source and everything is aligned to the last one so that is align objects for you so we'll see the option called position along the curve for this I need a curve so I'm just going to create and then CV curve tool and I'm creating a curve here we got a curve and I'm selecting all the objects and the curve here and I'm choosing this tool called position along the curve and you see um, all objects are on the curve modify position along the curve and see everything is on the curve Uh, one thing is that the orientation is not getting affected but they just moved on to the curve there so let's see the align tool here for that I just go to the modify and here we got the align tool and also I need to select the object which I have to modify the position of and I have to select the object to which I want to align this object to select both of them and go to modify and then choose align tool you get a um, align options just like what you see in your Photoshop. So these icons are self-explanatory. Uh, so when I'm rotating, these manipulators are changing. Uh, I mean, in in a view, uh, let, let's say if I'm rotating, maybe I want to align this side. When I'm rotating this view, maybe I want to align this side. So it is giving me the manipulators which are favorable to this view. So I just want to put this object in the middle of this object. So I'm clicking this button. So there's a line. Uh, this line is uh, a line to which you want to align the objects with. So uh, the two objects align on both sides of the line. So you see uh, on both sides of the line or on the same side of the line or in the middle of it. So I just uh, choose that and uh, put the cylinder on the cube. So you see how simply we have put the objects on it. So this is a line tool for you. We have this tool called uh, snap uh, together tool. So we just uh, need to select a face here. Click that and then come here click on the face and then just hit enter and then you have the object aligned onto the model there if you don't want the orientation getting affected then you can always choose uh, the move objects only and then select the face the face hit enter the orientation is not really affected there okay 